Welcome to the California Connects Facebook Overview. California Connects has 19 Facebook pages. The main one is the California Connects account, but we also have 18 county, individual county pages. Some of these are not in use because they've been combined. So we see Sutter and Yuba has been combined. And at this point, Yuba is still here. It hasn't been deleted, but it's just not in use. Another county that's been combined is Calaveras and Amador. So there's Calaveras, there's Amador, and they have it, the title hasn't been changed yet, but it should be changed shortly. So let's take a look at the main California Connects page. Okay, what you'll see here is a combination of Mesa and Great Valley Center information. We'll see um, the Great Valley Center folks, or, or us, will be responsible for posting any news articles that come up. But we also share information about things that uh, folks who follow the California Connects might be interested in. We really like to do pictures of California Connect students. And it's important to note that anything posted to the California Connects Facebook is automatically posted to Twitter. So if you post a story, it'd be awesome if you would add something like VTOP or Digital Divide because that will pull up in Twitter. And people interested in VTOP work and the digi digital divide will look at our stuff. And then we'll get a lot more audience that way. OK, so once again, what we want to see on here are our links to our news stories. Anytime we're in the news, in the media, anywhere, we want to link it here. If we find a website that we think our trainers would enjoy, especially our Mesa trainers who are more remote, that our Great Valley Center trainers have less contact from us, we'll post it here. Um, pictures of our trainers in action and our their trainees also post here. Um, so this is our public face. This is all the good stuff we want the public to see. Now, let's go back to the Great Valley Center. So here are all of our county pages once again. And some of our trainers are more active than others. So let's take a look at California Connects Kern County. And this is Diego's county. And Diego has just started using his page a little bit more. He's changed the background, so he has a picture of his students right up there. He's added Kern right here, so a little bit creative. And Diego regularly posts pictures from his newspaper ads or news stories. And occasionally he will post his schedules as well. We are trying to get more trainers to post their schedules. Um, not because we think we are going to get new trainees directly, but because we're hoping that they will share those schedules with friends and family members, which will bring more trainees to Diego's classes. So, but it is also our hope that these individual county California Connect sites end up being a place where the, all the students who train in that county, they'll like the site, and then Diego can continue to post helpful articles to keep them engaged and keep them online and also provide a forum for them to ask questions so that way they stay engaged in the internet community. Now let's take a look at San Joaquin County. So here we have Matt, and Matt's posting any news stories that directly affect his program. He's also, um, well, as you see mainly, this is going to be in Spanish because that's the primary audience for the site. So if you can make out what he's trying to do here is he is posting a lot more pertinent stuff to his audience and trying to pull them into the conversation. Now these are digital learners, so it's a little bit harder to actually pull them into the concept of learning community. Even folks who've been using the internet for a long time don't quite understand um, how to use it as a learning community and to continue to expand their knowledge based on what they can do um, on the internet by interacting with other people. So the goal of the program is to really develop these independent digital learners, but really um, you have that takes a lot more time than we actually have with the students, but we'd still like to try to get them on that path, but at least start by getting the community trainers on that path so that they can teach others. So, just to, to re-emphasize that the California Connects Facebook accounts are our public face for the counties as well as our, our main page. That's the first thing that community partners see in general when they search about us. So we want to be sure that we're sharing our story on there. But we're also having a dual role where we want to reach out to our trainees and try to get them involved in social media 
for the community building aspects to to get their the, them seeing themselves as a permanent resident on the internet and then learn how to use its resources to self-educate. Now, like the main California Connects Facebook page, these county pages also post to Twitter. So we're also trying to encourage the trainers to use some hashtags in order to get the information out to Twitter to where other people are looking at it, at our posts. So that's pretty much it for the Facebook overview. Um, some of the other overviews regarding data collection also cover some Facebook data for how to pull that. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.